In this video, we will cover how to add security to a PDF and prevent removal. There are many solutions to protect PDF files against sharing, but none are particularly secure. Password-based solutions, for example, are easy to bypass and users can easily remove passwords and any document restrictions using freely available tools. Here we are going to show you how to add security to a PDF using LockLizard, which uses transparent key management, DRM, a secure viewer, and licensing controls to ensure PDF files cannot be shared or restrictions removed. Here's how you add security to a PDF. So first open Windows Explorer, locate the PDF you wish to protect, right click on the PDF, in Windows 11 go show more options and then make secure PDF. In the document access tab, access to view read only documents can be allocated to all customers, selected customers or users belonging to a selected publication. In the Expire in Validity tab, here you can set the document to expire on a set date or after a set number of days from first use. Verify Document Access can also be set to check with the server each time the document is opened or after a set number of days or at set intervals. In the Printing and Viewing tab, you can limit the number of views and log document views. This will log every time the document is viewed and who it is viewed by. In the View Watermarks tab, here you can add permanent and dynamic watermarks that can display dynamic user information like username, user company, email, date and time, etc. Full list can be found on the right. You can also add custom text and images if required. All these will display when the document is viewed. Adding watermarks can also deter photos from being taken of documents. And in the Environment Controls tab, Screen Capture, you can also add a screen mask. This can prevent users typing text in another window. Once you are happy with your choice of controls, all you have to do is click Publish. Your document will now be fully encrypted and all DRM controls will be applied. Click OK. The newly protected document now has a PDC extension. This is now a protected PDF file, which can only be opened with the Locklisted Secure Viewer. With the PDF published, you'll need to send your recipients the encrypted.pdc file, alongside a download link for the Secure PDF Reader application and a valid license. The simplest way of doing so is by ticking Email License when you add a new user via the Safeguard Admin Portal. Further information on adding users can be found in a separate video called How to Add a User to the Safeguard Admin System. Going back to Windows Explorer as a licensed user, if we double click to open the document, The Safeguard Secure Viewer will open and load the document. As you can see, there are no passwords for users to enter when opening the PDF. Permissions cannot be removed from the PDF document and are permanently enforced by the viewer. As you can see, a watermark is displayed showing the selected dynamic details of the user viewing the document. We can now view the document, but we cannot edit it in any way. There are no editor controls to select, no editing menus. The print icon is also greyed out, so we cannot send the document to print. The use of control P is also disabled. Bear in mind that even if printing is enabled, LockLizard will prevent printing to file drivers, so users cannot save protected files to other formats. And if we try to take a screenshot of the document, all you get is a black square, so it's fully protected from screenshots. So as you can see, the document is now fully protected and read-only. Also, users cannot share protected PDF files since they are locked to devices. Once you're finished with the document, close the viewer, 
close Windows Explorer.